what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel today we're going to be talking about yep that's right the acolyte episode 8 as it is finally over and mixed emotions mixed emotions right now but before we do get into that y'all know what to do hit that subscribe like and notification bells we're fast approaching 5,000 subscribers so i really would appreciate it if y'all could hit that subscribe button and without further ado let's get into today's episode now episode 8 still got some answers that are not answered and unanswered and i'm just shaking my head about it but let's talk about today's video now again we came to the final episode of the season with the acolyte and i still like i said i have a lot of questions and the show has just been messy with the characterization of the characters the dialogue and everything and there are definitely some mistakes and flaws that they definitely have to fix if they were to do a season two which it looks like we're going in that way now in the beginning of the episode it opens up with Kymir helping remove the helmet off of osha as she does see may killing soul with out a weapon now we know that may can do that she can kill a jedi which we've seen in this season a jedi without no weapon now when we next see may and soul she uses pip to escape her restraints while soul tells her killing her mother was an accident but he doesn't regret his decision and before he can even explain any further she attacks him and gets away and everyone heads to Brendock for the final battle, meaning also Osha and also as well as Chimir as they're on the planet and they end up leaving. Now Master Venestra has to maneuver Senator Ryan Court by speaking in circles about the situation at hand. Should there be another season, like I said, which it looks like it's going that way, they're definitely going to continue the battle of wits between these characters. Then right after, we do see Soul chasing Mei as they are heading to Brendock, but she does escape soul's ship and then also we see chimere and osha fleeing the planet to go to brendock and it looks as though when we see this character in a cave it ends up looking like or it definitely is darth plagueis the wise now i will talk about what i thought about this at the end of this video because i wasn't really too happy about it so i'll give you a little bit of that then right after we get to see yeah master venestra getting ready wrapping up to go to brendock so we get to see that as well then we see soul landing on the planet of brendock and then we see the twin sisters or not that they're not sisters but we see them end up finding themselves and they do go to battle against each other then we also see chimere and soul going up against each other as well and there's a lot of dialogue between the two of them and also the other two meaning the sisters or not sisters Sisters. Then right after the fight between Osha and May, it looks like May escapes and ends up going to the fight to help or just assist Chimir while he is fighting Soul. And one of the things you do here is when Soul is talking to May, he kind of confronts her and tells her, you know, about what happened with Mother Anicia and the Coven of Witches. And then right there, you end up seeing Osha in the background who heard everything and she ends up force choking him and she's holding the lightsaber which ends up bleeding instead of blue turns red which i thought was really really cool and then she ends up killing him out of anger but he does tell her that it's okay because obviously he understands everything that went down and at the end of the day what the vision proved that she did have in the beginning was it was of herself and not that of her sister may now it looks like that Chimere got what he wanted. He wanted an acolyte, and he sure got that. Then they call in the cavalry. As we see, like I said, Master Venestra steps off the ship, and she senses Chimere, who she thought was dead, which looks like it like i talked about in other videos it is a formal pupil of hers now when she finds the body of soul she uses the force to see the truth about what happened on that planet and when we next see osha and may they seemingly make up and osha agrees to go with chimere to train as long as he lets go of may and he agrees and wipes may's memory so they can't be found now we see osha and chimere back on the island at the very end staring out into the ocean and has a look on her face Face. that doesn't really seem too good and it seems that she will turn to the dark side fully because of soul's lies now back on coruscant master venestra tells the council that soul was responsible for everything and she questions may who can't remember anything past the fire event when she was just eight so she doesn't remember osha it seems like and it seems that venestra will use this to retrain may in the ways of the jedi and it is revealed that master venestra's master is yoda and tells him at the very end that there are matters that they need to discuss 
So, you know, this episode to me just left it with more open-ended kind of questions and I could understand why they're doing that because again, they've been talking about wanting to do a season two. Not something that I really enjoyed because season one really wasn't, didn't deliver. And I think that if there's any question is how Vanestra and Chimera are connected, did they actually, you know, did she actually train him at some point? You know, what's Yoda's role going to be in all of this? I mean, we're talking about a time that, you know, there was supposed to be no problems at this point in time. Also as well, not getting Plagueis into the mix of things. I really didn't like how they introduced him. They made him look like this creepy, you know, character as they did a great job with that. But in a way that's just like a creepy old man, like, it, like Darth Plagueis, when I think about him, he's, you know, again, when you read the books, you know, he's this powerful Sith Lord and they just kind of like minimize his character and just giving us like a quick glimpse. I felt like if you're going to introduce him, you got to give him a big opening. Like you got to introduce him in a big matter. And I thought they really failed with that. And also as well, you know, the way they made the Jedi look overall in this series was just horrible, terrible. I mean, they made them look weak. They just, I mean, you're talking about this is supposed to be the height of the Jedi. This is the worst. I mean, the way, like I said, the way they made them look, it's like if, you know, Leslie Headland was destroying the reputation of the Jedi. And that's something that, you know, again, not even George Lucas was doing that, you know, not even showing us that, or at least he showed it to us in a different manner, but not the way they made it look here. Like these guys were just bad in every way and they were just covering up different things. And again, you know, I think there's a lot of questions that, you know, they're going to have to answer, I guess, in season two. But overall, very disappointed, especially too with how they made Soul. I mean, like first was Master and Dara, you know trying to cover up stuff and then it was soul trying to cover up and now Vanestra's trying to cover up when soul is dead and make him look like the bad guy i just that to me just didn't sit right with me again i want to see how they end up fixing all of this in a season two not that i really want it but overall i give it a six out of ten for the season overall i want to get your guys thoughts and opinions so make sure to comment down below and i'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video